don't know where she came from. Kinda turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do a daily cleaning motivation type video, kind of a fall edition. I've got my rust colored shirt on. I love this. I actually got this from Walmart, I think for between five and seven dollars. So time and true, love it. But I am gonna share my daily cleaning with you guys. I shared one of these not too long ago. You guys seem to really love it, but this is super relaxing and it's gonna give you some motivation to get your house clean. And these are the things that I do on a daily basis. So it'll be like a daily cleaning motivation, fall edition type relaxing video. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. And when she's gonna miss her soul, I tell him, baby, please don't so go. I like to start my day off with a load of laundry. I just want to say that I am a mom and not every day is perfect, but generally this is what I like to do. If I can do a load a day, it will really save me such a hassle and mounds of mounds of laundry. But I feel it's so important to just let you guys know I'm not perfect and some days I don't do this. So please, please, please don't compare yourself to me thinking I have it all together because mama, me and you are in this together and I have my good days and not so good days too. But the whole point of this whole journey is learn from them and have a better day when you can. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and clean anything in the kitchen that was left out from breakfast. I've already dropped the boys off at school and Isabella is usually waking up at this point and starting her schoolwork. So this is my time to tackle anything that was left behind. We do try to clean up after ourselves right away in the morning, but you know how that goes. It can get super busy, but it's nice to get the kitchen clean and it stays clean for quite some time. And one of my little tricks is I unload everything out of the dishwasher right on the countertop and then I start putting away from there. I want to say that I'm pretty excited because I am going to be doing a day in the life of a mom of five and I'm gonna show my view from home with kids in school. So be looking for that video. Make sure that you guys are subscribed so you're notified when I upload that. But I am really excited to share what I do throughout my day when my kids are at school. Who's looking back at me? I don't know what happened. Guess we weren't meant to be. I know we had problems. I thought we could fix them. But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on So I'm going to clean my countertops With my favorite stone and granite cleaner This is the Wyman's brand I purchased it from Target Every time I am cleaning and using this product I love to tell you how much I love it No, I don't have any links for it I mean, I guess you could find it on Amazon I'll see if I can put it in my Amazon favorites But I'm sure Walmart sells it, but I purchased it from Target, and this stuff makes my granite feel better than it has ever felt. Highly recommend. Back when I met you, we were like fireworks. So the kiddos always like to pull out the blankets in the morning so it's a part of my daily routine to fold the blankets and put my pillows back on the couch just for a little while so they're pretty until the kids come home. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. In my last video I talked about the kids just stepping on my pillows and they do. 
which drives me crazy because you guys know I love blankets and pillows. Every so often I like to use one of my cord vacuums so I can really feel like I'm doing a deep clean in the house. The Dyson is amazing, but every so often you gotta pull out the big one and just get deep down in this carpet. So give this video a thumbs up if you guys have a daily cleaning routine. It doesn't have to be very elaborate, but is there something that you do every single day to keep your house manageable? I would love to know. So I'm playing some different music. It's a little more relaxing, more chill. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know in the comments below if you are liking this slower, more relaxed vibe. I'm gonna try to do one like this every single month. I can't pull away from my upbeat stuff that I like, but let me know how you guys are liking this one. On this particular day, I decided to wash the kids' bed sheets and comforters, and thank goodness because they definitely needed it. I have realized when I'm with you, I want to do what it takes to make you see, make you see that we'll be all right if you just let me show you that. So it's so funny, now that this room is completely different, I feel like the kids like to be in here more, even though it's more feminine. I feel like everything has a home and everything has a place, and these boys love this room so much. They are in here so much more. Next, I'm gonna take care of my office. It is often cluttered and that's just how I work. I don't know why, but my desk gets so full of just papers and post-its and all kinds of stuff. So I definitely needed to tackle this one today. So I'm also going to focus on vacuuming this room out as well. It definitely needed it. It's just crazy how quickly the dust accumulates on the floor. I can do this every single day and I am just blown away with everything that I see that it catches. So have you guys started decorating for Halloween yet everything is out as you can see and honestly again I am gonna go with the less is more I'm gonna be donating so much stuff and I'm so excited to be blessing a family this year Won't you stay a little bit longer? I'm sorry, so in my bathroom I'm just gonna be putting things away my husband cut the boys hair the night before so I have this to put back in their bathroom and put my inhalers away and just basically do a general picking up and putting away on in here and just wiping the counters down.
down everything. I say hose down, but I guess I'm not really using a hose. I'm just using the shower head. And I'm wiping away any of the little hairs that got lost when we were cutting the boy's hair and cleaning up the side of the tub and around the shower. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, your exquisite kiss still burning. Didn't know I missed this passion in life. Now I'm addicted. So now let me tell you why. What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting, irresistible. When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit. I used to be satisfied. Stayed over the surface. Now I just can't get it. I always have so much trouble filming when I am cleaning out this bathroom. It is so small. So I do my very best, but you guys pretty much get the idea. I'm cleaning out the waste basket and then I am going to clean the toilet. I am gonna put my gloves on and use those wipes that are not good for my hands and start wiping this toilet down. Onto my bathroom, I mean, hello, my bedroom. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. To appreciate life and what you give is worth it. When you're holding me and when you hold me so close, I want better in under your skin. Wanna leave a mark so that I can be sure that you remember what I wanted to show you guys this amazing product here. This is called the Yoohoo and it actually measures the particulates in the room. You guys know I struggle with severe asthma and allergies, and this thing here has been a lifesaver. It alerts me when anything is not in the normal range, which is amazing. If the kids are taking a bath and there's too much humidity in the air, or sometimes I have noticed that my nose gets really stuffy in the evening and it will also alert me to open the doors. I love it because it's cute enough. I can fit in this little basket here. It's very sleek looking and honestly, I just love it. It's been so amazing. So when you get it, you link it up to on your phone, you download the app, super simple, very easy how to do it and then you name it wherever it's at mine's in the master and here is all of the information about the air in my room which how cool is that i didn't even know all this the temperature the air pressure carbon dioxide carbon monoxide the ozone it is awesome and like i said in the evening sometimes my husband and i are really stuffy and my phone will literally literally alert me and say feeling stuffy open up the doors, open up the windows. So I think that is awesome. My son struggles with asthma as well, and I would love to get one for his room. Honestly, I would like one for every room in the house, just so I can monitor how the air is doing. I did not know this, but the air inside our homes is so much worse for us than the air outside. That was alarming to us. So this little device has been such a lifesaver. It has helped me stay in control of the air I breathe, which is so, so, so important with having asthma. I love it. If you guys are interested in something like this, you have small children or respiratory conditions, or you just wanna be aware of the air you're breathing, I'm gonna have their information in my description box. They are offering you guys 15% off of anything on the website, so definitely go check it out. I love it, and it has honestly helped me stay in control of the air I breathe, especially with having animals in the house, and you know, we just forget that we need to open the doors. We need to be sure to stay on top of things. So if you are interested, please check out my description box, head over to their website and see what they have the to offer. Thing I did and I want you to know was you in from that moment I knew Now on to so much laundry and this right here is what happens if I do not stay on top of my laundry and do at least a load a day. I told you guys I do my best but some days it's not that great. So please 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 know mama you are doing a good job 
Just keep trying, keep trying to do your best, and that is what counts. You don't have to have a spotless home. You don't have to have made from scratch meals. Love on your babies, love on your family, and do your best. And I promise you, your life will be filled with so much more joy and so much more happiness. Give yourself some slack and some grace. Just breathe in and just love the life that you are living the best you can. All the things we've been through, everything that's me. And just to have a moment of absolute vulnerability and openness with you guys as a creator, the whole reason why I am here is to connect with you guys. I felt that it was a calling on my life to start this channel and it may seem small, it may seem silly, but it really was. I knew as a mom struggling that I could not be the only one and I felt that God told me, do this. I knew I had a greater purpose to my life and I know I'm supposed to be here. I know I'm supposed to connect with you. I know that if you are here right now hearing this message that you need to know that you are loved, you are worthy, you are irreplaceable and on this channel and this community we are here to love you exactly the way you are. I am here for you. I love you. I am thankful for you. No one else is like you. And I want you to have a moment and love on yourself for just a moment. Just breathe in and let go of any of the negative thoughts, the comparisons, the worrying, and just know it is all going to be okay. Baby, it took just to the kids bathroom slash guest bathroom that stays constantly covered in toothpaste. I feel like I should just use that as part of my decor. There is no fighting it. So you probably saw me use those really potent wipes with my regular hands and it's true I did. I got lazy and I did not put gloves on. I'm actually thinking about doing away with all of the harmful chemicals in my house and going to strict oils and all natural types of things. Let me know have you guys adopted that yet and if so what do you use? I am really interested in thieves and things like that. Because honestly, I'm so concerned about the air I breathe and the chemicals that are touching my skin and touching my kids' skin and what we're putting in our bodies. I really feel like it's time to make some serious changes. So I'm putting the kids sheets on the bed and I am waiting for the comforter to be done. I will put it on next, but as you can see, this cleaning took quite some time. These are little telltale signs when you wonder how long it really took. If you saw me put the bedding in the wash as you did, and now I'm actually going to put the clean bedding on. This was an actual all day cleaning. It's what you do. Make 
sure to give this video a thumbs up right now if you are still with me. I hope that you are. It means so much to me when you guys watch my video start to finish. It really, really does. I can't tell you enough, but it also, if I'm being completely honest, it helps my channel. So when you guys stay on, I just thank you, thank you, thank you. I just cannot thank you enough that you are here with me joining me on this journey and loving on me and I hope I can love on you all the same. So as you see, I am putting the boys clothes away. I do have them do it for the most part, but if I'm in here cleaning, I'm not going to wait. Maybe I should, but I like to finish it from start to finish. And I'm going to just put away anything I can. And if there's anything left when it's time to go to bed, I'll have those do. I have them put those away. I am so tired of making bunk beds. I'm thinking about taking the beds apart so it's easier for the boys to make their own bed, but I'm done with it. I don't like doing it. It's such an exercise and I don't mind exercising, but I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know what it is, but when I have a really productive day and the house is clean, beds are made, floors vacuumed, you know, the whole nine yards like this right here. I feel so much joy. I genuinely, genuinely do. I love for my kids to come home and have their rooms cleaned up. And I love when my husband comes home and there's no laundry to put away. He is the type of man that when he comes home and he sees something that needs to be done, he just does it. It doesn't matter what he had going on in his day or how busy he was. He's just here to help, whether it is with laundry or dishes, taking the dog for a walk or homework with the kids. I mean, he just does it. And I am so thankful. But when I have really productive days like this and I stick to this daily cleaning routine, I feel like it motivates me to keep doing it every single day. I came from a home with a single mom and I never came home to a clean house or a house with vacuum lines or a made bed. She worked her tail off and I have so much respect for her, especially becoming a single mom of two kids. I know what it takes and I am so thankful that I have been blessed with my husband. It is truly a gift but I know what it's like to long for those things as a child, so it brings me so much joy to be able to give them to my kids. If you guys don't have a daily cleaning routine, I wanna encourage you just to go through your house and think about the things that you want to tackle every day. Dishes, laundry, make beds, vacuum, whatever it is. You can even mirror this one right here and do it. It will make you feel so productive feel so much joy and pride and it will help you stay on top of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you more than anything. If you're new, I'd love for you to consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.